procedure on the RE D26 sewage combination air valve. We're gonna conduct it on the ductile iron version, but the exact same procedure can be conducted on the RE D26 stainless steel version. We'll start by closing the isolation valve. We'll drain out the excessive pressure using the one inch ball valve and drain out any accumulated sewage in an appropriate container. Once pressure has been released, we'll start by opening the four bolts on the cover using a 19 millimeter spanner. Once the four bolts have been removed, we're gonna lift the whole float cover and ceiling assembly unit and extract it out. We're gonna extract the spray guard cone. Once unit has been washed thoroughly, we'll need to inspect the condition of the internal ceiling and orifice seat area. Now we're gonna remove the whole float and ceiling assembly from the cover unit. We'll use a 10 millimeter wrench and a eight millimeter Allen screwdriver. We'll open up the dome cap bolt, extracting the bolted cover head. We're gonna extract the bushing using the lever. And then the whole external lever slides out of the cover orifice seat. We're gonna inspect the air and vacuum orifice seal and the internal air release seal. We'll inspect the spring. If we're required to replace the spring or the whole ceiling assembly, we could open up the ceiling assembly cup by a pin spanner, which will be seated, positioned in the two hole underneath the seal cup stopper. We'll thread it out from the float stopper. We'll inspect the spring. It could be replaced with the whole float ceiling assembly and we'll replace the ceiling cup assembly with a new unit. We'll close it in the reverse order. It was threaded and fully tightened back using the pin spanner. We'll insert the whole float and ceiling assembly back through the cover orifice seat. We'll insert the lever back towards the bushing that we have already inserted in the cover and close it off with the bushing we extracted. We'll take our bolt rod, we'll close it in the opposite dome nut and tighten it using our wrench. We'll take our spray guard cone and insert it through the float rod. We'll insert the complete cover and ceiling assembly back into the unit through the top We'll put the cover on the body and thread back the four bolts on the cover. Using a wrench, we'll tighten the bolts on the cover. We'll make sure that the drainage a ball valve is closed and we will slowly open the isolation valve underneath the product. We'll check for any leaks for any internal parts of the body and our maintenance procedure has come to an end.